YouTube. What's good, niggas? How y'all motherfuckers feeling? It's the go god in this bitch. Look, man. So look, uh, I get hella questions, man. What's the best bill? What bill should I make? What should I do, Swan? Say, how do you feel about this bill? How do you feel about that bill? Every time I stream, this bill, that bill, this bill. You know, it, it's just, it's a lot. What do you think takes more skill? Why? And then I get my opinion. Then just a massive rush of hate. Like, what you ask him my opinion for? Like, like, what? I, I don't understand, nigga. But look, so. I'm about to give y'all the top five builds that take the least skill in the game. The most overpowered builds to where, I mean, th th there, there's a confusion out there to where when you say no skill, like, like, um, whatever build takes no skill that of course, what's good niggas. So I know a lot of y'all, you want to be fucking high reps with max badges. You ain't got the time. To grind this that blah 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 so if you just want to buy an account high overall with max badges and shit hit up my man sports gaming and also tell him i sent you and if you want the process to go by faster my guy send me proof of that will always send me proof that you hit him and i, I can make the process go a whole lot faster you know yeah so yeah man if you want to buy or sell your 2k19 account hit up sports his link will be in the motherfucking description. It takes some skill. Look, look, listen, listen, listen. These are the builds that take the least skill to use. As in, you don't have to be as good on these type of builds because you have so many bailouts. The, you know, you, it's so much easier to be more efficient on these builds because they are broken, easy to use builds, okay? It's just like trying to make some gourmet food and then just making some ramen, but they both noodles. The difficulty of making ramen and some gourmet motherfucking noodles is completely different. You know, you don't even got to flick your, you got, you, you can wiggle and shoot a shot, nigga. It, it's not, you got to <laughs> shoot, you know, or, you know, read to make all these reads. You don't got, there's no less reads on these type of builds, man. So look. Y'all about to get my opinion. It's about to ruffle a lot of feathers. Hey, if you don't like an opinionated nigga, you can suck my dick. Okay? I'm about to, you know, I'm about to let y'all know some shit. So, number five. The number five build in the game. I'm going to do top five. If y'all want more videos like this, hit that like button. And turn on post notifications, man. Know the Academy is weak as shit, bro. So number five is the pure post score, man, okay? Well, not, not even the pure post scores. Post scores in general. If you have post scoring in your build, you're literally fucking toxic. You are AIDS, okay? Um, as you can see, there's a reason why people who are on the 1v1 court, they all have post scoring in their build, bro. And they have this amazing record, 97 win percent. Niggas ain't never had that high of a win percent. But why do they this year? Because of this overpowered archetype. This archetype's been overpowered every year. But now with like how the game's playing and shit, it's shit like OD, okay? They got, oh, look, listen, listen, listen. For post scores, right? If you're actually, you know what you're doing. You, you can speed boost. So not only can you damn near make everything your brick wall on hall of fame your post spin technician on hall of fame drop stepper hall of fame up and under hall of fame you know mid-range dead eye silver difficult shots gold you know not only you got all these badges right you can speed boost versus big slow ass centers which is going to be your matchup you could just burst you can keep playing with the l2 and you can burst that out that shit over and over and over again and then you can either burst for a dunk or you can burst and then act like it and then just fade it's it's and then post hop shots are like unblockable it's toxic no skill to use no skill okay no skill okay of course there's difference you know this is the post scores most overpowered easy to use builds i'm gonna show you that i'm gonna get on one I'm going to show you how easy it is, bruh. 
it's it's really AIDS, bro. And don't listen to no post score saying, oh, I don't do something that don't take. No, nigga. You all cheese heads, man. And I know y'all be like, oh, you're a playmaker. Shut up. Playmakers and PGs will always take the most skill to use. They have to, every possession, read the defense over and over again. The different looks, the dribbling, it's not no super OP badges, you know. These are just dumbed down builds, okay? Y'all have to understand that about this game, bro. Like, y'all are so weird. It, it always be the old head and bum niggas that like, oh, when you talking shit about my build, like, shut up, bitch. Okay, so now, number four. <laughs> we got the pure shark, man. The, the, the pure shark. And down in the comment section below, y'all let me know your top five best builds, most overpowered builds that need to be patched type shit. So the pure shark, man, you know? Now, the pure shark, corner specialist, hall of fame, deep brains, dead eye, hall of fame, limitless range, hall of fame, catch and shoot, hall of fame, okay? Mid range, dead eye, gold, tireless score, gold. You feel me? Uh... <laughs> pick and pop or silver so the the build i'm reading off is the the build that i made the best pure shark well probably the second best after i found out some new shit i, ain't, I don't know but look so and i have that build you can go look at my tutorial playlist i already put it up but look so pure sharps take no skill to use bro okay you could do the inbound cheese on threes or twos over and over again and you could shoot they have better shooting badges than the stretch. Um, I think that shooting over people kind of overrated because you can do that shit with pure sharps too. And when you see comp pro-am games, you see the you see the sharp handling the ball. So you can run the ball at the one spot if you know what you're doing. You can zigzag. There's so many y'all y'all see me play on the sharp. Okay, there's, it's, it's very toxic. It needs to be patched. You can fade. You you. You can get steals, OD. You have defensive stopper on bronze. So you can make a big ass sharp and you can negate guards badges because you have defensive stopper on bronze for no reason, okay? Super toxic build. Now, number three. The reason I put this build above the pure sharp and I differed these niggas is because the pure stretch can you know, the pure stretch can play the three spot, okay? Because he's bigger and all that other shit. And then he can still play the twos and still have height. You know, a lot of people get scared off that big ass center shit. I personally think because the 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 big ass pure sharp, he he has better badges that, you know, he low key can shoot better, you know? But I don't know, man. Like you get limitless range on, on gold. Like, you get limitless range gold for the pure stretch, but on the pure sharp, you get it on purple. And I don't know, but you get per you get pick and pop on purple, uh, you know, uh, Hall of Fame, what the fuck am I saying? You know, you can make a really big ass nigga for this pure stretch, seven foot power forward. And guys, do not make your pure stretch 6'11", bro. What, what, what are you guys doing? You might as well just make a pure sharp. Or like a small forward if you what's the point just for a little bit of stats the point of a pure stretch is to be as big as possible and still be able to dick niggas at the three that's the point you know but anyways man this build is very toxic bro um if you see some of the the top stretches in the game man there's a lot of them on you well there's probably more toxic ones in the stage and, and pro and shit but there's a lot of a lot of stretches out there and it, it is a super toxic build, bro. They can play a little bit of defense. They can shoot lights out. They can do everything. They're, they they take no skill to use, okay? Zero skill to use. It's very easy to use these guys, okay? Especially on the tools, man. It is exploit fucking city. You know how to jig. You know, you can, and then for the pure sharp, and the stretch, you could run two centers or whatever. You could just zig, try and make the homie step up, wiggle, and then the, he's crashing. And the, the way you have to play shooters, 
because the shooting is so easy is someone has to step up heavy okay they have to step up heavy which causes once you glitch around and shit and you know how to jig and all that other little lame shit and you could be stupid deep bro and then if you're playing with someone with hall of fame brick wall it makes someone step up and they shoot that bitch and it goes in at a super high percent and then by someone stepping up that guy's gonna have the board so it's, it's very toxic bro it's very very toxic and easy to win with okay that's why they take no motherfucking skill okay number two <laughs> and y'all let me know how y'all feel about all this shit number two pure shot creator okay the pure shot creator a lot of people i think people are sleeping on this but look, it is the easiest build to use in the game. It's the most overpowered. It's the most unstoppable. It is, it is a fucking god. Okay, you don't you don't gotta make him a little nigga, but you can. You know he can speed boost. Okay, when he builds up his takeover, he gonna be able to build up his takeover easy. You understand? He gonna be able to bring up his takeover easy, bro. Tireless score. Hall of Fame, so you can just zigzag over and over and over. Mid-range dead eye, Hall of Fame, difficult shots, Hall of Fame, teardropper, corner specialist gold, catch and shoot gold, acrobat gold, up and under gold, deep range dead eye, silver, limitless range, silver, ankle breaker, silver, relentless finisher, silver, posterizer. There's even more. Pick and roll maestro, bro. So it's like you can do everything a stretch can seriously because you can do that little glitchy shit and then you can instantly pull that bitch but the thing is if they're up next to you and they're playing you high as a as a shot creator you can grab that bitch and then you can just go to the midi and just fade you know like and then you could just like randomly just do hop steps and just fly backwards and green that bitch it is i don't i never will understand this game you know, the dumbed down builds that are the most overpowered and take the least skill to use, they make them even better. But the builds that take skill, oh shit. The builds that take skill, you know, when you're dribbling, being a playmaker and shit, they nerf the shit out of them. It's crazy. But you rather see people zigzagging around and doing all this glitchy shit and just fading and like, that shit is corny to me, bro. You know, th this shit, and then they can drive and dunk. They they can they can just go in the paint. They know how to time they shit, do an acrobatic layup. So it's like, they're gonna get their takeover. And then at that point, they're unstoppable. You know, the higher, they're gonna be able to break your ankles off a of spin jumper. Just, it's, it's extremely toxic, bro. Extremely, okay? If you get a shot creator and know what he's doing, he can really fuck you up. And you ain't gotta be no little guy, you know? You can make you can make this guy 6'8, 6'10, and still be super toxic. And then even more toxic on defense, bro. You know? Now, number one. This is gonna ruffle a lot of feathers. I'm ready. You feel me? I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. The pure lock. And I know a lot of y'all, you, you, you gonna be in the comment section. Oh, you, you just got to do a playmaker. Oh, blah, 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 blah. You know? Stop trying to get us nerfed. Uh. Shut up, bitch. First of all, you fucking suck. They, look, listen, bro. Okay? Defense, listen, listen very closely, guys. Defense takes skill to play. Lockdowns don't take skill to use. They're boosting your ability to play defense. Understand that. They're boosting the one of the greatest strengths in the game. So, like, y'all think I'm saying defense doesn't take skill. I'm saying lockdown doesn't take skill. It makes the game too easy. They're too impactful. Keep in mind, I've never been dicked by a lockdown, okay? Hall of Fame defensive stopper. Hall of Fame pick dodger. Hall of Fame charge card, Hall of Fame pickpocket, Hall of Fame chase down, Hall of Fame bruiser, Hall of Fame quick reflexes, corner specialist silver, 
posterizer silver and uh you know whatever other badges they got look bro they're extremely fast built okay they're they're probably the most unrealistic archetype in the game i'm not gonna hold you because in real life offense beats defense okay if you guys didn't know that right but with with this lockdown right you if you're good you know what you're doing you can press ball right imagine imagine a lockdown pressing lebron or some shit and by the time he gets past half court all his stamina is gone there are no defenders like that anymore first of all i love defense but you know and then they, they can just go up to you press square you know steals high as shit blocks they're they're if they're any way in the vicinity it's just all your badges just drop you know and you know if you wanted to make a build like this you can't have them able to hit corner threes because then they know they have no weakness they're not a liability do you understand that guys you understand that just because they're not moving on offense and shit the ability to be the best defender in the game on the court and then have no weakness because you could just stand in the corner and they have to guard you or you're greening that three that's unbelievable for the bum niggas you don't understand it right you know you can you can max out his wingspan all that shit he can torture niggas on defense people run like on the twos with a lockdown and you know they have like a post score just and then he'll have him rebounding and then he'll play d for the stretch or the post score and it's just it's eight you know lockdowns on pro-am pgs can't even really score anymore and shit because lock like come on g that that shit weak as hell boy i fucks with the defense but come on you rarely see in the nba street ball or anything defenders full court pressing pgs you know uh you know i i like how the 17 lock was you know it was impactful enough but you could still get your shit cooked you know but the 19 is just way way too overpowered bro you know but yeah man i think these are the top five builds that take the least skill to use you know the most you know you could be pretty brain dead and still pretty effective on these builds you know that that's just what i view you know i i think that if you had the same person you had him on all these builds you know he would be super toxic on these builds compared to other builds like he would be even better on these builds type shit i don't know that's the video man make sure y'all subscribe if you new. like the video let me know what y'all think go watch my past videos Follow me on Twitter, follow all my other social media, and make sure y'all niggas drink a gallon of water a day, man. Follow me on Twitch, subscribe to me on Twitch. I'm out of here, bruh.